welcome back to the channel guys it is me 80 smurf before so today guys we talk to you guys about the champions league europa league conference league predictors so we're gonna go ahead and be predicting these games let's start with the champions league first guys the champions league there will be timestamps description below for your convenience so let me go ahead and get that out for you guys so zero zero okay zero twenty okay let's start with the first game which we have here is let me minimize my webcam thing uh, we got Inter, Porto, Inter. Now, I believe to my mis, if I believe I'm not mistaken, Otavio is the only player that's been for the game. Obviously, got a red card in the first leg. Um, for this one, guys, I think it's gonna be very interesting to see how Porto approaches this game. Obviously, Porto will have the home crowd and their support, and they'll have the home fans to be back then. My concern with Porto, though, is that as good as they are, are they clinical of a team? And that's my point with Porto is that I don't think they're that clinical. Whereas Inter, they have those difference makers off the bench, like the likes of Jekyll and. Obviously, Lotar, Martinez, you know, Lukaku, etc. And I just ha feel like Inter is just going to score a goal. And it's going to come down to whether Porto can score two or more goals, in my opinion, which I don't think they will. So I'm going to go with the 1-1 one -one draw. I think Porto will score first. And I just think Inter will just, um, I just think Porto will just, um, I just think Inter is just going to get back in this game. So, yeah, um, player of the match. I have a feeling Lotar might turn up. I'm going to go with Lotar. Man City versus RB Leipzig. I mean, let's be real. Man City should be winning this. I believe Nkunku is out, if I'm not mistaken, which is a big, big blow for Leipzig. And yeah, I just don't really see how Man City is going to let this opportunity slip. You know, Pep even rested some players in the weekend against um, what is it called, Crystal Palace away. So I, I, I don't. I feel like Man City should be winning this game. I'm going to go with them to win three goals to one against RB Leipzig. So yeah, Man City to win, and obviously, player of the match. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Riyad Mahrez. I'm going to go with Mahrez. I feel like Mahrez. He's got a good record in the Champions League, so I think he's going to turn up. Napoli versus Frankfurt, guys. Let's be real. This is a dead rubber. This is a dead rubber. I mean, Napoli have yeah, been sensational. Kavrat Scalia, also has been amazing. Lobotka as well. This Napoli team has been on fire. To make matters worse for Frankfurt, Moani is suspended for this game, which is a big blow. I don't really see Frankfurt doing anything here, and I think Napoli should be winning this. I'm going to go Napoli to win two goals. Daniel, and I'm also going to be playing my booster for Napoli as well. So I'm going to go with... Cover, um, I'm gonna go with Osman to score the opening goal, and yeah, I'm gonna go with my play my booster for that one. Real Madrid versus Liverpool. Now this is interesting, guys, because let's be real, guys. Liverpool. I don't think this will be. I don't think Real Madrid will destroy Liverpool like they did in the first leg. I think Real Madrid will be a lot more conservative, knowing that the tie is pretty much effectively done. Um, but I still think they'll approach this game with some caution in mind, and I don't think Real Madrid obviously they're gonna obviously. Uh, not take this game for granted. So I think they'll still play a good, strong team. It's just I don't think Real Madrid will be that motivated. Liverpool as well. I think they can give it their best effort, and I don't really see a lot happening. I'm going to go with the 1-1 draw. Personally, for me, I think this there's not going to really be a whole lot. Really, really not really exciting. And yeah, I'm going to go with Real Madrid to um, do this. And obviously, Vinicius Jr., man, he loves to score against Liverpool. So I'm going to go with Vinicius to score the opening goal. And yeah, where is Vinicius? Vinicius here. Yep. Yeah. Vinicius, Vinicius, man. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, let's see how Liverpool reply after losing to Bournemouth on the weekend. So, let's go ahead and move on to the Europa League, shall we? Europa League time. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. So, we got the first game we got Feyenoord versus Shakhtar Donetsk. Um, personally, for me, I'm going to go with Feyenoord. Feyenoord should be winning this, guys. Uh, Shakhtar Donetsk, as good as they were in the first leg, they were not that great. They were very defensively solid, I will say. So I don't think Feyenoord would necessarily de destroy them, per se. But I'm going to go with Feyenoord to win. I'm going to say they win two goals to nil. I think they'll keep a clean sheet. I think they'll win the game, which that's pretty well they should. And I'm going my first player to score is I'm going to go with Santiago Jimenez, man. Um, our Real Betis versus Manchester United, guys. I, I, I don't see man Real Betis doing this. Manchester United just looks so blistering on the counterattack. I know they just draw points to Southampton. Um, you know, and, um, obviously, so you know they had the red card situation with Casemiro. So I feel like Manchester United just knows how to exploit Real Betis. Real Betis, I just don't really feel like have the capabilities to compete. And yeah, I'm going to go with Manchester United to win this. I'm going to go with a 3-1 win for Manchester United. That might be... Actually, I'm going to go with a 2-1. I don't think this will be as um, as one-sided as the first leg was. I think Manchester United will kind of you know rest some players in and there. Regardless, though, I do think Man United will win this game. And I'm going to go with them to win. And I'm, I'm going to go with Garnacho, guys. Garnacho has got a good record. He scored against Sociedad away at their stadium. So perhaps he could score against them. Then Friday versus Juventus, guys. I am going to go with... For this game... I'm going to go with the 1-0 Juve. I think Juve will snarily win this one. 
1-0. I just feel like for me, Juventus have just been great. Freiburg, for me, just don't have the attacking qualities to compete. At what rates of Doan injured, I believe. Um, I think that's a big, big blow. So I'm going to go with Di Maria to score. He's just been on fire for Juventus. And he's been their best player in this Europa League. So I'm going to go with them to win 1-0. Ferenbahce versus Sevilla, guys. I am going to go with a draw for this one. I don't think Sevilla will be as good. I, I think Sevilla will struggle in this game. But not, regardless, I do think Sevilla will um, get the result that they need to advance. And yeah, Ferenbahce for me... Uh, I, I just, I just, I just don't see them doing it, man. I just feel like for me, Sevilla just have too much quality in the attack, and yeah, so I'm gonna go that, use them in Nazir to score first. Hopefully, Ferenbahce can make a comeback for my prediction's sake. Uh, we got Real Sociedad versus Roma, guys. Uh, this Real Sociedad team, man, it ain't dead, man, it ain't dead. I just feel like for me, they just cannot score enough goals at the moment, and yeah, I just feel like for me, Real Sociedad are just struggling at the moment. And Roma, on the other hand, they have been scoring a lot of goals, so I'm gonna go with. I'm going to go with the 1-1 draw. Maybe a 2-2 draw, actually. You know, I'll, I'll go with the 1-1. I'll say 1-1. I think Roma score score first, though. Regardless, though, I do think Roma will have enough quality to advance. I'm going to go with Dybella to score the opening goal for Roma. Arsenal versus Sporting. It's a tricky, tricky one, guys. Um, I don't know how Arsenal will approach this game. Because if Arsenal play their second string team like they did against Sporting in the first leg, I could see Sporting actually advance here, guys. But if Arsenal play their strongest team, which I think they should, they will advance. So it's really, really difficult to call for this game. I'm going to give Arsenal the benefit of the doubt, so, and I do think they will take the game seriously. And I do think Arsenal will win this game, but it could be very close. I could see this game potentially going extra time. So I'm going to go with a 1-0 win for Arsenal. I think they'll just about get the goal. I have a feeling it'll go to extra time. And yeah, um, maybe like, I'll say Gabriel Jesus, who just came back from injury. So maybe he might score the winning goal for Arsenal. And um. Yeah, I have a feeling someone off the bench is going to score. Like, I have a feeling Saka might score the winning goal. He might come on as a substitute and score the winning goal for Arsenal. Then we got Ferenc Varos with Leverkusen, guys. Yeah, I don't see Ferenc Varos doing anything here. Um, they have been good at home. Their home form has been generally been pretty good. Which is the reason why they even made it to this stage. So, I do think Ferenc Varos could potentially win. But I don't think it would be enough to overturn the deficit. So, I'm going to go with them to score first. But Leverkusen to come from behind. So... I'm going to go with Ferenc Varos to score first, and Leverkusen to come from behind. So, um, let's say, let's say Owasi. Let's say he scores, so I'll go. And actually, I need to decide who I'm going to play my booster on. Then Union St. Gloss was Union Berlin. This will be a really, really interesting game. We saw how good Union St. Gloss was in the first leg, how good their attacking qualities were. You know, Victor Boniface in particular. Um, and Union Berlin, man, we saw how they were able to come from behind. So, I'm going to go with the 2-1 win. I think Union St. Galas will actually score first, but I think Union Berlin will come back. So I'm going to go with Union AG to score first. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to go with Boniface to score. And then my booster, which one do I play my booster? Which I'm most confident with? I would say I'm most confident with... Mm, it's between Fire and Order, Bitsies. I'm going to go with Fire Order, personally. I'm going to play my booster on the Fire Nord. So, Fire Nord, don't let me down, man. Don't let me down. Don't let me down. And by the way, you guys can find the links. I'll leave the links in the description below if you guys want to play in the description. So, there will be the links here. Leagues here, guys. So, I'll invite you guys. So, let me go to the leagues here. So, here is the league where I am. So, click in there. And, yeah, this is my league right here. So, okay. View league. All right. Let's move on to the conference league. The last thing we have for today. So, 8.55. Okay. Let's start with the first game we got here. It's Istanbul Bashakshir versus Ghent. Now, I believe the first leg ended 1-1, if I'm not mistaken. So, I'm going to go with Istanbul Bashakshir to advance, though. So, I'm going to go with a 1-0 win for Istanbul Bashakshir. Um, and, yeah, I'm going to go with them to score first. Goal score for them. I'll say... It might be a midfielder, guys. I'll say um, Terzic, I guess. Yeah. Okay, Slovian Bacha Slovay versus Basel. I'm going to go with Slovian to advance. So I'm going to go with them to win 1 0. I, I just don't think Basel is that good, in my opinion. So I'm going to go with Slovian to win. And yeah, I'm going to go with Slovian Bacha Slovay to win. And I'm going to go with my goal scorer is going to be in the midfield. I'm going to go with uh, Weiss. He's been amazing for them. So. 
Dirge Gadon versus Lech was on. I'm going to go with a stale nil. I'm going to go with the 1-1 draw, which will be enough for Lech Bazan because Lech Bazan, of course, won the first. Like, so I'm, I'm going to go Dirge Gadon to score first. However, I do think Lech Bazan will get back in the game and pretty much effectively end the tie. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go with Burge to score the opening goal for them. Sibisport versus Fiorentina, guys. I'm going to go with a simple 1-0 win to Fiorentina. I do think this will be a very cagey game. I just think Fiorentina for me should be advancing. So I'm going to go with Fiorentina to advance. Obviously, I'm going to go with um, Luka Jovic to score the goal. Maybe Ikone might score. But yeah, I'm going to go with Luka Jovic. And the Villarreal versus Andrew Like I'm going to go with Villarreal to win. Two goals, 2-0. Two um, I'm going to go with them to win 2-0. And I'm going to go with the goal scorer is going to be, I'll say... Um, I'll say um, I'll say Morales. I'll say him. Nice versus Sheriff. I'm gonna go with the one-run draw. Um, I I was really convinced with Sheriff in the first leg. Just they weren't unable to score. And I think this game they will we'll score. And I think Nice will score first though. So that will really be a difficult task for Sheriff. But I do think Nice will come. Uh, Sheriff will come from behind. But it won't be enough to overturn the deficit though, in my opinion. So I'm gonna go with Laborde to score the opening goal for them. And the AZ Alcomer versus Lazio. It's a tricky, tricky one for Lazio. They're in a really, really tough position. Do I still think they can come back? Uh, I don't know, man. I genuinely don't know. As of right now, I quite frankly not sure. I think it all hinges upon which team scores first. I think if Lazio scores first, I think they're gonna get, they're gonna come back. But if and AZ Alcomer score first. I think it's done. So you know what? I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to say they win 2-0. But this is a very risky prediction. A very risky. And I wouldn't be surprised that I get this one wrong. In fact, I'm more likely to get this one wrong than right. But um, I'm going to go with them to win. So, lots of you, man. Don't let me down. And interestingly enough, this is going to be the early kickoff game on Wednesday. So, stay tuned for that. And the West Ham versus AK Lernica. Let's be West Ham should be winning this. So, West Ham 2, AK Lernica 0. My goal scorer is going to be my first player to score for West Ham. I'm going to go with Mikkel Antonio, of course. Actually, I'm going to go with Skimaka. I'm going to go with Skimaka. I'm going to play my booster for this one. I'm most confident with that one, guys. Anyway, so those are my predictions, guys. Those are my predictions. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know what you guys think. It's comfortable your predictions. Remember, you guys, if you're new on here, consider that subscribe button. Hit that like button as well if you did enjoy. Uh, make sure you guys check out my blog for the description below. Uh, hit the join button in the description below to get to get access to members' videos, members' streams, all the good stuff. And yeah, check out me with the pop to the description below. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.